Okay, so question number four. What is the structure of a polypeptide? Okay, so even just looking at the name polypeptide, you'll see that it has a prefix of poly, which means kind of like there's many of it involved. And then peptide means that there are many peptides. So it can be described as a chain of amino acids. Okay, so I'll show a general reaction of two amino acids. So every amino acid contains an amine group with their carbon and a carboxylic acid functionality. And what makes every amino acid unique is the R group that is on our carbon. So I'll denote this as R. So this reacts with a different amino acid, or it could be the same, but again, it will also contain an amine group. It will contain a different R group, so I'll name it R prime and it still contains a carboxylic acid. So what happens is a dehydration synthesis that involves the removal of water so that these two molecules can come together to form a larger uh, molecule. And this continues, and you can have a long chain of amino acids. So then our product is the first amino acid, and now it is attached to the amine group of our second amino acid. And this can continue on to form a long chain of amino acids. And then from there, you can form what they call secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. Quaternary. that can be formed. Okay, so the junior tutor said that a polypeptide is composed of chains of amino acids which are bonded together by peptide bonds. Okay, so they showed where the peptide bonds are located. I'll label it on mine as well. So this is an example of the peptide bond. And the two ends of a polypeptide are composed of the amino N-terminal and the carboxyl C-terminal groups. The figure below shows an example of a polypeptide. Okay, so this solution is correct.